I'm Dr. Amy Cranbeck, Professor of Urology at Northwestern Medicine. I am also the Division Chief of Endourology, and I specialize in surgical removal of stones as well as BPH. The whole of surgery is highly effective at relieving urinary symptoms. I would consider it a high 99% success rate in getting men to avoid successfully and to alleviate their symptoms of urinary frequency and urgency. The side effects of the whole up procedure are minimal. Um, one concern that most men have is retrograde ejaculation. So with the whole up surgery, it does not affect your erections. Your erections will not change from before surgery to after surgery. And it does not affect your ability to climax or orgasm. However, when you do have an orgasm, you will not see the semen come out the tip of the penis. That's because the prostate has been opened up and it's created a very low pressure system inside your bladder and urethra. So once the semen enters the urethra, there's not enough pressure to force it out the tip of the penis. So you would just urinate it out the next time you urinate. It's definitely a difference and it's a change from what you have before surgery, but most patients find that it is not detrimental to their sexual enjoyment and overall they feel much better after the surgery. Other risks of the procedure are temporary blood in the urine or hematuria. This usually goes away after a few days after surgery, but if you are taking blood thinners or any other anticoagulants, this can last for several weeks to months after surgery. It's unusual that you would require another surgery to stop the bleeding, but that is a potential theoretical risk after the procedure. Patients can also experience temporary stress urinary or urge urinary continence right after the procedure. This occurs in about 30% of men. Most of the men who experience this have significant irritative symptoms before surgery. So they're going to the bathroom often or frequently, or they may have had a catheter in for a long time prior to the procedure. However, any man is at risk of developing this in the temporary recovery period. The good news is, is even if you experience this, the likelihood of it being permanent is less than 1%. We can often treat these symptoms with medication in the temporary time period, um, as well as pelvic floor exercises to improve your pelvic floor health. Any man who has significant urinary symptoms secondary to their BPH is a candidate for holdup. Uh, no prostate is too big or too small for the procedure. Uh, so if you do have significant symptoms that are not relieved with medication or are unable to urinate, you should ask your physician about a potential holdup. So there are many different treatments for enlarged prostate, and many of these depend on the anatomic configuration of the prostate, as well as the size of the prostate. For smaller prostates, some men may choose to have medication therapy, which can help them for several years um, with their symptoms. Uh, there are also office-based therapies, such as Resume, Neurolift, um, iTend. These are made for very small prostates and are the long-term effectiveness is um, yet to be seen. Uh, there's also procedures like laser ablation of the prostate or green light, uh, which is done in the operating room and again for smaller prostates. And then there's transurethral resection of the prostate or TERP as it's also known. Um, and that is also for smaller prostates. When prostates get to be about 80 grams or bigger, you're really left with HOLIP as your only treatment alternative or a simple prostatectomy, which is a more invasive procedure. Long-term, HOLIP has been shown to have the lowest retreatment rate of any surgical procedure for BPH. Men have been followed out to 18 years after the date of their surgery, and the number of men that either needed medication or retreatment was less than 2%. 
So if you have a hole up procedure, this should be considered the last procedure you would need. So the one takeaway I would want the patients to know is that hole up is a fantastic procedure for the appropriately selected patient. Men who have significant urinary symptoms secondary to the BPH are potential candidates for HOLUP. HOLUP is oftentimes an outpatient procedure with approximately one week of downtime afterwards. There are some transient temporary symptoms that can occur after the surgery in the healing period, such as burning with urination, blood in the urine, and in some men, stress or urinary leakage. However, these are temporary and they resolve as the patient heals. Overall, HOLUP patients are extremely satisfied with their procedures and the greatest benefit is that this is the last procedure they should need for their BPH and they can enjoy their life as they move forward.